An Albuquerque family is grieving over the death of their brother, a military veteran. But what happened after his death has the family heartbroken, confused, and outraged. And they say the people who run the public housing where the man lived are to blame. Here's News 13's Kim Holland on special assignment. Jeff Berger was a Marine veteran who fought his battles mostly alone. He kept family and friends at arm's length, and in later years, he struggled with health ailments. The 71-year-old lived alone here at Embudo Towers in Albuquerque in a small apartment on the second floor. I never knew him to have anybody in his apartment. He died alone in his apartment in early September. But what happened to him after his death has his family outraged. I'm angry and I want somebody's head on a plate. The Albuquerque Housing Authority manages the apartment complex near Constitution in Pennsylvania. It offers financial assistance to help disabled and seniors live here. After Jeff died, the apartment manager led in the office of the medical investigator, then a cleaning crew. But the manager told Jeff's family members they couldn't get in the apartment until there was a death certificate. About 10 days later, they let Jeff's only daughter from California inside. She says the door was unlocked. She said, Uncle Bob, she said, uh, the door was open. The place has been ransacked. Jeff's daughter said everything in the apartment was scattered and overturned, even the couch. Two weeks after Jeff's death, his brother, Bob Brueger, and his wife, Bonnie, came back into town and met the apartment manager. When we came up to the door, the door was unlocked. He went to turn the turnkey and it, was, it wasn't even locked at that point. The thieves stole Jeff's Indian artwork. Some paintings were ripped from the walls. They took Jeff's powerful painkillers, including hydrocodone, Vicodin, and morphine. The 50-inch TV was missing. And about $40,000 worth of jewelry and watches. What's more, Jeff's truck was gone, stolen from the parking lot. He says to me, um, we're going to get this door, we're going to get maintenance up here, and we're going to change the lock. And I'm thinking, why are they changing the lock now? It's the, the place is totally ransacked. The executive director of the Albuquerque Housing Authority would only talk to us on the phone, not on camera. The director tells us the door of the apartment was locked when the cleaning crews and OMI left. The family says that couldn't be, or someone had the keys to the apartment that let the thieves in because there were no signs of forced entry. I think that Albuquerque Housing Authority is, should be held accountable because somebody, somebody dropped the phone. Jeff's family says Albuquerque Housing Authority didn't let Bob and Bonnie know they were listed as the beneficiary on the apartment paperwork. Had they known, they say they would have arrived at Jeff's apartment right away. We wouldn't have waited for two weeks, you know, and given them, you know, carte blanche to ransack the place. Bob and Bonnie filed a police report. The Albuquerque Housing Authority is searching through surveillance video to see if there's any evidence to hand over to officers. And cops in Bosque Farms found a man driving Jeff's truck, and he had the key. He said he bought it from a man in Los Lunas. But Bob and Bonnie don't have the answer they're seeking most, so this doesn't happen to anyone else. How did this happen? I want somebody accountable for this. On special assignment, Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. The autopsy on Jeff Brugger did not show signs of foul play. We'll keep you posted on the outcome of that investigation.